I think there are two main things that excite me about coming to work at Deep. Firstly is, is the team. Getting to come in every day and work with a group of passionate, really motivated people from a massive range of backgrounds. And then there's the technical challenge of what we're trying to do. No one's really done this before on the scale, we're doing it under modern day standards. And so coming in and facing that challenge with a great group of people and getting to do that every day, it's a bit of a dream. I'm Rick Goddard and I'm Engineering Director at Deep. We are trying to take all of the latest technology, all the latest state of the art in marine engineering, in diving equipment, and we're trying to make that work in a really high pressure environment underneath the ocean. We're trying to make it accessible to scientists, to marine biologists, to, to researchers. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, good to see you. Let's, uh, let's yeah, go and have a look up at up. where we're up to. So I think you've seen earlier versions of the mock-up uh, when we were at a different location. So we're in the process now of rebuilding it. The comfort levels and the habitability of our systems are so important and this is the easiest way to check that we've achieved that. So we can make people live in this space for representative amounts of time uh, on surface and see what they like and don't like and we can edit it up here before we start um, sort of making big expensive changes to habitats. What I really like about the model, which is going to get more and more impressive as it increases in fidelity, is it gives you that sense of scale and size. A single span of our subsea human habitat system, the Sentinel, is designed for six crew to spend 28 days or more below the water. That will allow for an incredible amount of time diving. The Sentinel system contains not only the dive center and the living accommodations, but also a laboratory, meaning that scientists can actually conduct their research while they're still at depth. During the average duration of a mission that will be conducted within the Sentinel system, the time spent diving and conducting scientific research would otherwise take years to complete. It's imperative that we better understand the ocean so that we can not only learn from it, but also help protect it. There are two sides to this challenge. There's the engineering side and the diving side. Our habitats have to be usable by divers. They have to optimize the way in which divers exit and run their missions from the habitat. So we have to work with dive professionals, incredible people from the dive industry to help inform that side of the problem so that our engineering solution meets the dive solution in an elegant way. The aim of DEEP's Habitat Diver training program is for it to be all inclusive. We want scientists from all diversities to be able to access the habitats and complete their science. We want this system to be available so that basically all people can use our habitats for the purposes they require. This is frontier engineering. We are pushing boundaries here in subsea exploration, subsea science, uh, and conservation science. And that's hugely exciting, both on a personal and professional level. When we achieve what we're setting out to achieve, and when our first habitats go in and our habitat programs onwards, we will be increasing humankind's knowledge of the oceans. And in doing so, we'll be giving ourselves the best possible chance to preserve them for future generations.